There's one I've always wanted to try, which is, can you light a Strike Anywhere match with a bullet? Well, let's get started. It's a match made in Mini Myth Fan Request Heaven. A single testable question that can be answered in one glorious afternoon down at the gun range. And without putting Adam in harm's way, here's a quick myth illustration. Through the magic of editing, allow me to demonstrate exactly what we hope to achieve today. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, don't move. I won't. <laughs> That's what this story's all about. Can a bullet light a match? Well, when you get right down to it, it's all about friction. If this myth is true, we're going to be able to light this with this while this is traveling at nearly 800 feet per second. The question is whether that bullet is able to cause enough friction when it grazes that match to actually ignite it without blowing the head of the match off. I'll tell you, I'm not sure it's gonna work and it's not about the precision. That I feel that we can solve. It's about the length of time this bullet will be in contact with this match and whether that length of time is long enough to set the lighting chemical conflagration in motion. So the guys are ready. Gun is going hot. They have their 45 caliber gun with its large, slow-moving slug, perfect for this experiment, aimed by a laser at the tip of the match. Firing in three. Surely this two, won't take long. One. Maybe it will. Not lit, not even gone. Apparently it's too low. Despite Adam's pleasure at the quality of the high-speed shot. <laughs> that is so pretty. It's so crisp, you can see the reflection of the match head in the bullet. Even with laser-guided precision, they completely missed. So they're reverting to a more utilitarian method of marking the bullet's trajectory. Let's do it. Cardboard and trial and error. Three, two, one. Plenty of error. That's crazy high. Well, you shot the head right off. And plenty of trial. Oh, it missed it. So close, but it's not touching it. Well, we're a few shots in, and we have not gotten a match to light yet, but <laughs> we're in the thick of it. So close. We knocked most of the red off the match without destroying it, so we're really really close. We're trying to get this grazing action without destroying the match head, which we've already done. Too high, we want to just graze the very tip of it. I don't know, to get one to light may take another few shots, may take another few hours. What do you think? I don't see no fire. No lit match, but a quick look at the high speed confirms they are on target. Ah, oh, perfect, it's just knocking off a little bit of the white there. Just barely touched it. That's what's required. Could that be myth busted? The bullet grazed the match head, but it didn't kickstart the chain of events that end in a lit match. <laughs> and to find out exactly what happens when you light a match, here's Jamie. This is how matches work. In the head of the match, you've got a fuel, which is a sulfur-based product. You've got an oxidizer, which is usually potassium chlorate. And you've got glass powder. It's all held together in a binder on the head of the match. The striker has glass powder, but it also has a small amount of red phosphorus. And when you strike the match on the striker, that glass-on-glass -glass friction generates enough heat to convert the red phosphorus into white phosphorus, which happens to burst into flames when it's exposed to air. Now, in a Strike Anywhere match like this one, all those same ingredients are on the head of the match. And so you can strike it on any abrasive surface. The same reaction occurs, generates heat, generates white phosphorus. You've got a lit match. And back on the range, despite feeling like they've got a busted myth on their hands, the guys lock and load for one last shot. Firing in three, two, one. Punch in! You asked for it, and we made it happen. Well, that's fully burnt. We did it. But keep in mind that it took us nine tries to make this happen. We had precision equipment, and the accuracy required was down to, you know, a thousandth of an inch or so. That's great. That is so cool.
Well, I was wrong again. This was fully able to light this when they were only in contact for a 12,000th of a second. It's mighty short, but it's mighty confirmed.